Hey y'all, today we are in France visiting Robin. He has been living a few years in a tiny house. This is his second build. As you see, it's not really finished yet from outside, but uh, let's have a look and Robin will gonna show us around. It's built on wheels, so it can be transported. There yeah, you can uh, put it on your van and go anywhere you want. Right, and this is the garage? Yeah, you've got a small part here. So you've got the electrical part on the right, and all the water, the warm thing on the left. And the water is uh, on gas? Yeah. So I... so I put this bottle. It allows me to take two months of shower. Not really quick shower, but still six, seven minutes, I think. And here going to be outdoor shower. Yeah, outdoor shower for the summer. When you're going back from the beach, you can put all the sand here and not in the inside. That's way better. So it's on construction. We have some bamboos here and just over there. And I like the height of the, it's higher than usual tiny houses, no? Yeah, 4.2 meters. And with the solar panel, it's uh, an extra meters on the top. And how many solar panels do you have? I've got four of them. They are 375 watts each. You are living here. Yeah. More than a year in this house. When did you More than a year in this one, yeah. And before you had another one you built? Yeah, I lived in another one for two years that I sold uh, last summer. And this one is... Um, so the idea of this one was to still live in it or uh, just to rent or both live and rent? <laughs> live and rent. At the beginning I wanted to sell it. But we're gonna try some rent yeah. and see how it works. And the property, it's uh, your family's? Yeah. So you so didn't have issue to... With no, it was easy for me. Place. So this is the living room. Yeah, you got the couch just here. Is it like sliding out or it's one position? No, it's one position, but you can still sleep on it if you want. There is some extra space underneath. I've got my guitar and things like that. Small kitchen, you've got the fridge working on the solar panel. Uh, the oven, same thing, but you need some sun. I've got something like this. And this is pre-made kitchen, or you made it by yourself? No, uh, I bought it. It's a Nikia kitchen, if okay. you want to know. Yeah. So I've just got uh, four modules, four parts. And uh, that's it. Wasn't that expensive. In my first tiny, I had a few uh, windows like this, but thinner, you know. And I wanted uh, like this one a bit bigger to get uh, more view. I don't know. It was looking better for me. So. So the standard size that you usually get. Standard in the size, shop. yeah. It's one twenty by sixty. Mm -hmm. So I've bought seven of this like that. And uh, I like how spacious it looks. It looks actually bigger than uh, six meters sixty. Mm. Somehow. You still have 2.20 on the side, like yeah. this. And the after. ceiling, how, how high it is? This part? Yeah. Uh, 197, I guess, mm -hmm. if I remember. 197. I've done this part here for cover the light, you know, or the, the cable. And the bar table. Yeah, so I've done it myself, this one. Cut everything like this. How often do you have to use electric heater? In a, like until what temperature you're comfortable without heating in the house? Uh, it depends. I have to turn it on from November until depends March, February. What did you use for insulation and how much? Uh, the insulation in the wall it's cotton. So I've got 10 centimeters of recycled cotton. I've got 20 on the floor and 15 on the, the top. Okay. And the then uh, 10 millimeter of wood. Of food, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've done a big living room, a big, uh, no, sorry. Bathroom. A big bathroom. <laughs> I've done a big bathroom here. It's white for 1.40 meters. And the light is? The light is this one. You've got this, you've got the mirror. Put some lights, you can adjust everything, the intensity of the color, everything. It's nice touch, the mirror. Yeah, changing everything. And I'm using just this, just this one. In the night, these lights are a bit too strong for me. 
And uh, what material did you use for bathroom walls? Uh, it's a kind of PVC, plastic wall. Very easy to, to put in with the other one. And it's waterproof. It's waterproof, yeah. And you even got a washing machine inside. Yeah, it was missing on the first one, so I had a little space here to use it. So yeah, very useful. And working with the solar panel too, so free. And the sliding door. Yeah. Closing by himself. There is some uh, some space on this side of the the stairs. You haven't seen that. Oh, okay. And the composting toilet you build by yourself? So I just bought this thing, you know, yeah. to separate the pee and the rest, mm -hmm. and uh, just fix it on the water, the, the thing that I built in wood. So very easy, you just have to take the, the bucket off, take this bag and the garbage, and that's it. In the stairs. So, not much, but you can still put something. Yeah, for laundry Stuff, yeah. and some miscellaneous exactly, stuff. Yeah. Mm. Nice. And you've got the VMC here. I like how you made a loft, so it's kind of basically, it's open, you have a lot of space. Yeah. Probably that brings a lot of light, because when I came in, I felt like mm. it's bigger than it actually is yeah. from outside. A lot of light, and with the stairs, I don't have, you know, to move anything to go up in... I just up, walk down and that's it. Yeah. Mm. I don't have to put, you know, a ladder. So it's way easier. And this is cinema screen. Yeah, just have to open it like this. I put my retro just over there. And uh, have home cinema. Yeah, home cinema. So the only fact with this one is when it's too cold, way too cold or way too hot, sometimes it's flexing a bit like that, so you have to adjust it, push a little bit or pull, just to close it up, you know, perfectly, but when you know it, it's nothing. So you didn't order anything like, uh, the, uh, except the garage door, the custom? Yeah. Everything you just went to shop, you bought what is available Everything, yeah. mm -hmm. and built around it. Yeah. Is there anything like uh, you would give to yourself before you started building some tip, like what to do better? What to do better? Yeah. Uh, to buy something maybe a bit more expensive. Did you have experience before you start to build first tiny house? I uh, not really experience, but I've done a few ones before. Uh, I always uh, my my father always taught me how to do things like that, you know. So you were so, handy. Uh, yeah. And during COVID, I had nothing to do, so I was watching video on YouTube how to do this, how to do this. For sure, I made some mistake, but it's only wood, so you can do it again all over. So, right. just some patience and, and determination. Oh, you have to start with the left feet if you want to be really perfect. Up, left one. And then you've got one meter seventy here. Yeah, short people could stand. Yeah, a lot of them, but not me. <laughs> this bed is two meters by two meters. It's a bit big, but yeah, it's very nice. comfortable. You've and got the all my stuff over there. Shelves, you've got some space in everything here. And it's nice because you made this extra twenty centimeter roof. Yeah, yeah, so you can you've actually got, comfortably sit You've here. got 90 centimeters here and 1.1 meter here. So you can see it. You can... And you have extra heater here? Is it not no, enough? No, it's uh, ventilation for the summer. All right, it's getting hot. Yeah, zero. sometimes it's a bit hot, so it's better with that. Some shelves for the flowers too. Some green touch, yeah. always good. And this loft is guest bedroom. Yeah, so it's 1.4 meter wide. You've got some shelves here, you've got the light, two spots here. Classic. You can host many guests here. We can stay at five easily. Why and how did you decide to build a tiny house? 
Oh, because of COVID, I had no job for two years, so I had nothing to do and wanted to do something to live for me. Yeah. And I, this is why I tried to do some tiny house. What did you do before? Uh, I was doing the season, ski season in the Alps and working in the southwest for the summer. Mm. Mm. And uh, how do you like so far tiny house living, you think? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's been three years now and I can do a few more years easily in this one. And how did you decide uh, with the design? Did you do, you draw it by yourself? I drew it by myself. I catch a lot of ideas in um, tiny in the US too. Like this thing, you don't really see that in France. But it's super comfortable to use it every day. You don't have to use a ladder to go up, not taking a lot of space. You can sit on your couch. It's not even touching close. How much did it cost you to build it? The tiny, this one cost me 37,000 euros. In materials? In materials, yeah. And, and, and how it much took work? me six months to do, seven months. Of labor? Around, around 1,000 hours, I think. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, thanks for sharing around. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. Social media of Robin I will leave in the description below. Let us know in the comments what you think about this build. Would you build the same one, something differently? And see you in the next one. Cheers! Mm -hmm.